But uh, like I was saying, oh, what's it? About Prince? How long have I known Prince? Uh, well. Man, I've been fucking with Prospect, man, for about six years now, man. Yeah. I met Prospect uh, way back in, like, 05, man. We was both working downtown at the time at uh, what used to be Tower Records. How we meet? We met um, probably 2008, 2009, shortly after I had uh, moved back home, finishing up college. Move back. Um, obviously, this is you know after Katrina. Wasn't sure if it was a showcase or a beat battle, but I met Prospect at uh, one of those. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, the process, you know, the recording and producing process with Prospect, I must say, is uh, really bloody nice. You know, I mean, it's real organic and it's real natural, mate. You know, it's just uh, I dig it. I dig it. Probably one of the dopest uh, producers I've ever fucked with, man. Like, uh, man, man, talent, man. I mean, he, he plays the drums, the guitar, fucking anything you can touch in the studio, dude, can probably kill that shit. You know, used to have this old ass computer, this old ass computer that was like slow as fuck. It had like an eight gig hard drive, and uh, it would take us all night to like do one song and shit. Actually, the first thing we started working on. Ended up not even ever seeing the light of day. Uh, it was this joint we was gonna call Blues and the Key of Weed. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, our, our first release was the Blue Soul and Jazz Review, uh, which was in 2006. For every album that I've ever had, Pressback has been a part of a full length album that I've ever done. He's been a part of, I mean, in, in, a, in a major way from, you know, production to mixing, mastering, day-to-day -day soul project we got coming up on deck that's just me and him. You put Quincy Jones and you put Rick Rubin and you, uh, you know, marriage them between some Jay Dilla, mate. You got some fucking shit. Live on, he can do whatever, man. Drum and bass, hip-hop. His love for hip-hop, his love for soul, his love for funk, I mean... I mean, his love for Bossa Nova. I mean, all these different kinds of music that he listens to, you can hear it infused into his sound. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's really a, a, a big, fun pot of gumbo that every time you put your spoon in that gumbo, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get something different. coming up I'm working with a lot of people it's gonna be a compilation so also I, I gotta give a, I gotta give a shout out to all we're no play in the field. But dude is dope. Matter of fact, the fact that he got um, the hip hop producer of New Orleans, man, is pretty fucking dope. Fucking right, mate. Cheers to that, mate. Hey, you know, it's an alchemy, mate. It's an alchemy. I say it time and time again, and people don't understand me. He's a cat that looks at things from a very broad spectrum. So, I mean, that reflects in his music. And, uh... Uh, I've probably known Prospect the longest and, like, really seen 
the whole like array of different shit that he does so like you know like with the variety of beats that i've heard him produce and like various styles that he's and phases that he's gone through it's real difficult to try like lock him into like one particular thing everything has to be just right you know for um the end product mate and, and he knows uh what those ingredients are mate you know when you when when you get prospect again you get a producer you get a musician you get you know what I'm saying a guy who understands not not only music but you know people's emotions and you know how people feel and just as an all-around music lover it's deep in hip-hop you know so I mean probably like fearless and that he's unafraid to like experiment and do some different shit you know my mind like the best some of the best stuff I've ever been a part of recording some of the best that I've ever heard Prospect play.